It was almost like a jigsaw puzzle. They did not have the advanced technology that we have today. So it's really a marvel. New findings finally reveal the hidden engineering of the famous terraces at Machu Picchu, and it is a total game changer. For decades, people assumed these were just simple garden plots for corn and potatoes. Yeah, about that, it turns out they are part of the most advanced water system in the ancient world. Experts use 3D scanning to solve the final mystery of how this city survives the rain. They did some geophysical investigations at the site. And what he thinks he found is some kind of a chamber below this door. The result is a story of precision that seems hands down impossible for people with no iron tools. This discovery proves we have been looking at the ruins all wrong. Ancient blueprints in the Andes. The crazy part is that they actually work better than many modern walls we build today. To put this in perspective, the average modern retaining wall in the United States lasts 50 to 100 years before it needs big repairs. But the terraces at Machu Picchu have survived six centuries in one of the most unstable places on the planet. They get over 80 inches of rain every year and sit right on a fault line, yet they show almost no damage. When a team tried to model the system using modern software, their conclusion was blunt. The level of detail suggests a deep knowledge of water that should not exist in a civilization without written math. Something does not add up. Most visitors assume the terraces were just carved into the mountain to make farm space. That is what the tour guides say and what the signs tell you. But that is not even close to the full story. The 2025 studies revealed that each terrace is actually a multi-layered structure built like a modern highway. We are talking about 700 individual terraces covering 12 acres of very steep ground, and every single one is built to the same exact rules. Here is what is beneath each platform. Layer 1 is a foundation of large stones, some weighing over 1,000 pounds, carefully placed to stay strong. These are not just piled up. They are positioned to push back against the pressure of the earth. Layer two is a drainage layer of smaller stones and gravel sized perfectly to let water flow through without getting clogged. The sizing is so precise that geologists found it matches modern engineering standards for drainage filters. Layer three is a layer of sand that acts as a second filter and layer four is the rich topsoil for growing food. But here's where it gets mind blowing. Ground radar showed that beneath all 700 terraces runs a connected network of underground channels carved into the bedrock. These channels do not just move water, they redirect it with mathematical precision to keep the mountain from getting too wet and collapsing. An engineer from Colorado spent decades studying the site and found the system can handle rain that would destroy modern storm drains. During the wettest season, when three inches of rain can fall in a single hour, the terraces soak it up and move it so fast that there is no flooding or erosion. He said that in 35 years of work, he has never seen a better design and he has seen systems that cost millions of dollars fail in a short time. The precision is not just impressive, it is statistically impossible. But the real mystery is how they did it with the tools we think they had. That is where the official story starts to fall apart. According to history, Machu Picchu was built around 1450 by the Inca Empire. The Inca had no written language, no wheels, no iron tools, and no big animals to carry heavy loads. Their main tool for shaping stone was basically just hitting it with harder rocks. For moving blocks, the theory is that they used wooden rollers and ropes with thousands of people pulling. In 2014, a team examined the walls using high-tech scanning with millimeter-level accuracy. They found that the stones fit together with gaps of less than two millimeters. That is thinner than a piece of cardboard. Modern builders using power saws and lasers struggle to do that every time. The Inca supposedly did it with river rocks while working on a 60-degree slope at an altitude where it is hard to breathe. Every time we use modern tools to check the work, we find things that make scientists confused. The precision is not just good for ancient people, it is just plain good. But the tool problem gets even deeper. Beneath many terraces, researchers found channels carved into solid granite. These are not rough cuts. They are smooth, perfectly angled channels to move water at specific speeds. Granite is very hard and the copper tools the Inca had are much softer. 
You cannot cut granite with copper. It would be like trying to cut a steel bar with a butter knife. So what did they use? Nobody actually knows. The stones for the terraces did not just appear there either. Geological tests show the blocks came from places two to four miles away across a valley and up a mountain slope that is very steep. Logistical impossible at 8,000 feet. Let us do the math on what moving this rock actually took. Estimates say the terraces alone have about 60,000 tons of stone and dirt. That is the weight of 400 blue whales. All of it had to go up a vertical mountain using only ropes and human muscle. A research team tried to calculate the work in 2018. Their model assumed perfect conditions and expert workers. Their conclusion was that moving the terrace stones alone would take 1,500 people working full-time for 15 years. But there is a problem with that. Machu Picchu is in a forest that gets rains 200 days a year. The ground is so steep that modern hikers need safety cables. Altitude sickness makes most people feel sick at 8,000 feet. The river nearby is very dangerous to cross. And those are just the problems we can see from the surface. The 2025 radar study found something that was not in any old reports. Many of the biggest foundation stones are buried six to eight feet under the ground. Think about that for a second. They did not just move stones weighing 1,000 pounds up a mountain. They dug huge trenches in the solid rock, put the stones in exactly, and then buried them under tons of gravel and dirt. All of this followed a master plan to keep the mountain from falling down for six centuries. The way they coordinated this is staggering. Modern projects need computers and constant talking between teams. The Inca supposedly did this with just spoken words or small models. The people who wrote about the Inca in the 1500s never mentioned engineering schools. Where did this knowledge come from? The way the stones react to the earth shaking is even more confusing. The 2025 study did not just look at what the terraces are, it looked at how they handle stress. Researchers used sensors and software to simulate earthquakes on the terrace system. What they found goes against everything we know about ancient builders. The terraces are not just strong, they are designed to let the energy of an earthquake pass through them without breaking. When the ground shakes, the layers of the terrace allow the stones to move tiny amounts without falling out of place. The small gaps between the stones actually widen a little bit during a shake to absorb the energy. This is a very advanced concept called seismic damping and we did not really understand it until the 20th century. An engineer from Peru ran the test three times because he did not believe the results. He found the walls work like modern reinforced concrete, but they do it naturally with just stone and gravity. It gets even weirder though. The drainage channels under the terraces are not all the same. They change in depth and angle depending on the rock underneath and how steep the hill is. Modern engineers call this adaptive design where you change the plan to fit the ground but you cannot see the rock through the dirt from the surface. To design this, the builders would have needed to dig up the whole mountain first to see what was there, then fill it back in, or have some way to see underground that we cannot explain. A team from a famous university checked these patterns in 2023 and said it did not look like they were just guessing. This looks like a perfect plan that was done right the first time, not something they practiced for years. It suggests planning that is so advanced it should not exist for the Inca. Cracks in the official timeline. Now we have to talk about the timeline because this is where the story gets really crazy. Most history books say a king named Pachacuti built Machu Picchu between 1438 and 1471. That gives them about 30 years to build the whole thing. But recent finds are showing that is probably wrong. Carbon dating of old bits of plants found under the terrace foundations gave dates as early as 1250. That is nearly 200 years before the king was even alive. When this was first found in 2020, people said it was just a mistake. But the 2025 radar found something that cannot be ignored. Beneath the terraces, we can see there are older foundations buried under 12 feet of dirt. They have the same smart drainage and the same perfect stonework. These buried terraces are facing a different way, which means they were built at a different time by maybe a different group of people. This is like finding a modern cell phone buried under an ancient Roman road. An expert from the British Museum said that either the building took much longer than we thought, or the Inca found a site that was already there and just fixed it up. This inheritance theory makes a lot of sense. 
All over Machu Picchu, you can see different levels of quality. The best work is in the foundations and the parts that hold up weight. The rougher work is on the top parts that were added later. It is like someone with amazing skills built the base, and then later people who were good but not as great added more on top without fully understanding the math underneath. This pattern is found in other places like Cusco and big stone forts nearby. Massive, perfect stones hold up smaller, rougher walls. When the Spanish came in the 1500s, they asked the Inca who built these things. The Inca said they did not know. They said the stones were already there when their grandfathers arrived. For a long time, historians thought this was just a myth. Maybe we should have listened to them. The Inca Empire was the biggest in the Americas and they built thousands of miles of roads and had a great system for counting with strings. But there are no records of how they did the engineering for the terraces. No stories tell us how they learned to manage water. When the Spanish arrived, they found Inca who could build bridges and roads, but those same people could not explain how the giant stone walls were made. An old writer said even the Inca kings claimed they did not know the secret, saying the stones were moved by magic. That is not how engineering works. If you know how to build something that lasts 600 years, you teach it to your kids. You make a school or a system to keep the secret. But when the Spanish took over, the knowledge of how to make perfect stone walls and water systems just vanished. Within two generations, the people were back to building rough walls with normal rocks. An expert from a university in California says this is one of the biggest losses of tech in history. It is like we forgot how to make concrete in a single lifetime. But what if the Inca never had the knowledge in the first place? What if they were just taking care of what someone else left behind? Let us be clear. Nobody is saying aliens did it, but there is a big chance the Inca found these structures and used them. So, here's the deal, we are staring at a massive mystery that defies our modern understanding of history. Is it possible that a lost civilization with advanced math lived in the Andes long before the Inca? What do you think about these hidden chambers and the secret timeline? Let me know in the comments if you think we need to rewrite history and make sure to like and subscribe for more.